what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we gotta talk about the big news that triple h dropped today in regards of what will happen with the winner of the king and queen of the ring tournament this year and i'm not gonna lie uh i like his decision i like what uh he decided to do here it definitely adds that much more importance to winning queen and king of the ring this year so we're gonna get right into it he actually talked about it uh well he posted a clip on his twitter so let me go ahead and make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can see what he may have posted we're gonna go ahead and full screen this um says right here on the uh tweet the stakes just got even higher the winners of the Sa of this saturday king and queen of the ring tournament finals will each secure a championship opportunity at SummerSlam. This should be very interesting. Let's see what exactly he said. Yeah, so I have an announcement on that. The In the past, King and Queen of the Ring, it was such an honor to be in that tournament and to win that tournament on your own, to have that launch you to another place. But I wanted that tournament to kind of stand on its own, and I didn't want to announce this part of it until we got here. But... I'll let all of you know that tonight that the winner of the King of the Ring Tournament and the winner of the Queen of the Ring Tournament will both go on to receive championship matches with the title of their respective brands. So um, they will both get world title shots, either WWE or world title, at SummerSlam. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's great. That is that that is definitely great. And I'm not gonna lie to you. This definitely raises the stakes up for the tournament. And I was hoping that was something they were gonna do. Like in my head, I kind of thought that would be the case, even though they hadn't like initially announced it. But in my head, I kind of figured, okay, that's probably the route that they're gonna go most likely. Whoever wins should have a championship opportunity. And I like the fact that it, Whoever wins will have a championship opportunity on their respective brand. So right now, uh, I'm filming this on Thursday. Uh, we have, for the men's side of things, Gunther has advanced to the finals. And we're going to see on SmackDown, who will it be? Either Tama Tonga or Randy Orton. And then for the women's side of things, we got Lyra, uh, Lyra Valkyria. She advanced to the finals. And we're going to find out on SmackDown whether it be Nia or Bianca Belair. Now, here's the thing. With this being announced and this being official, it I know a lot of people going in thought it was going to be Gunther and it, it would make sense if it is Gunther. And I don't think anyone will have a problem with it. But with this being added, I don't I automatically felt like Tama Tonga wasn't going to be winning this. If if Jay would have won on Monday Night Raw against Gunther, then I thought Tama Tonga would be winning the men's side of things, honestly. so But that wasn't the case. Uh, I do think Tama Tonga is going to lose here. Um, the question is, how does he lose? But, you know, it, it, it only makes sense if you have a heel versus a face. And I think this matchup, Randy Orton versus Gunther, that's fucking fire. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Tama Tonga, uh, you know, they're trying to build him up as well as something as a credible threat. But two heels doesn't make sense. And so most likely Randy Orton will win. Now, the question is, do we get Randy Orton? Randy Orton versus um, if Randy Orton does win, do we get Randy Orton versus Cody at SummerSlam? Because that is a good match. And on paper, and I think a lot of people want to see that match, but not yet. I think, honestly, we're still going to have this bloodline stuff. And I do, the you know, the rumors is that Rock, The Rock is supposed to return like around August, SummerSlam time, maybe. So maybe that ends up happening. Or maybe he returns after that. We don't know. So that could be a situation. They could still do this Randy versus Cody feud at SummerSlam and build up to it. So they could. This makes it actually still kind of unpredictable. 
I know a lot of us think The Rock may return in SummerSlam, but it may be a little bit after that. Who knows? But it does makes it make it unpredictable because if you have Gunther win, I don't think anyone will have a problem with it and have him have a championship opportunity. The question is, now it changes things because if Gunther wins, I don't have Dam. I I I love Drew, but if Gunther wins, then I don't have Damian Priest retain. I don't. I mean, I don't have Damian Priest lose to Drew at Clash at the Castle because it doesn't make sense if you have Damian Priest lose then at Clash at the Castle and then Drew McIntyre holds the championship for like Clash at the, Clash at the Castle. How far is like maybe a month, if that, and not that long. He would he would literally be a transitional champion. He wouldn't hold the championship that long, and then you give it to Gunther. Because I do feel like if you're having Gunther win it and win the champion, like win the king, the king of the ring and he faces whoever, he's not losing. I just don't see Gunther losing his first championship opportunity. I don't. So it's kind of a, I don't know. I know a lot of people are saying that you have, have CM Punk screw over Drew in his home, which honestly that can work. And now they build up the feud for SummerSlam. It's not even about the title. It's about trying to destroy each other. And I think that's a marquee match. You could do that. And if you want to, you could have Gunther and Damian Priest really go at it. But ultimately, Gunther wins with obviously probably the dissension from Judgment Day. That could work. That could work. I mean, it's relatively quick that he got the championship, but... I mean, I don't know, man. This oh, this is, they could, I don't know. This really could change the landscape of how Clash at the Castle goes. Because I just don't see, I would love for Drew to win. But then, hold on, let me let me check these dates. Let me check these dates. Let me, let me do this live. Because I, I mean, we're going to get on the women's side of things on this too as well. But let me check these dates. All right, so Clash at... Castle 2024. What is that? Um, what date is that? That is going to be hold on date. So that's June 15th. So it's gonna take place at June 15th, right? Oh, y'all can't even see it. My bad. <laughs> so it's June 15th. All right, where's SummerSlam? 2024. Let me put the date. That's August 3rd. So, and then I think, where's Money in the Bank? When's Money in the Bank? 2024, date. All right, so June 16th is Clash at the Castle. Then July is, July 6th is Money in the Bank. And then... Saturday, August 3rd is SummerSlam. Now, here's the thing about this. If you do that, if you have Gunther win King of the Ring, Clash at the Castle is on June 15th. That's not too far from now. If you have Drew win there, that means he would only have it from June all the way to August 3rd. Because presumably he would lose. Unless CM Punk costs him. And I do think the match. That's why I think. I think. Because yeah. He would only have the title from. From now. Well from Clash of the Castle. June 15th. All the way to August 3rd. So it's it's not really a long title reign. I guess you could say it would be somewhat similar. To Damian Priest's title reign. You know a few months. A month and a half or so. Maybe two months. Uh, but, you know, I I, I wouldn't want to see that. Granted, it, it could work. But I just feel like the better story, the better. And, and I don't know what they do here. Because you could give Drew that moment in front of his fans, his people. But the better story would be to have Drew get screwed over by CM Punk once again. And then have... Damian Priest go against Gunther for the championship and then Damian Priest drops it because at least Damian Priest would have at least had it 
you know, he would have at least had it for a few months before he actually dropped it. That's the only thing I can think of. That's truly the only thing I can think of if they did it that way. So I don't know. But on the women's side of things, we got Lyra going against potentially uh, Bianca or Naya. I'm going to be honest with you. Who would I want to have a championship opportunity? Because you would have a B if Bianca, because I don't think Lyra is going to win it. It would be interesting if they really did that, but I don't see her winning it yet. I don't think I think it's a little bit too soon. Unless that's something they want to do. I don't see her winning it. But I will say, if you did Bianca winning it, then she would be going against Bailey for the championship. And the story is there. Because they don't like each other. And that could be interesting. You could do something there. If you go with Naya to win it. That could be a good story too. Naya versus Bailey. I don't know. But I don't know. It's just, it would be, I ain't going to lie to you. Lear versus Naya, the matchup, I don't know if I would do that as the finals. I honestly, I honestly would do Bianca. I would do Bianca. And since I would do Bianca to win it and then be two baby faces going at it. But Bianca gets the win. And then you have Bianca versus Bailey again. And I, I think that would be a better story. Not to say that Nia wouldn't be a good fit to go against Bailey. But at the same time, I don't know. That's a tough one. That that really is a tough one. I would probably do Bianca because they have history. And now that Bailey is a baby face now, Bianca still holds that resentment. And that could be the turn for her. That could be the catalyst where things change for her. And maybe there's some dissension between uh, Bianca and Jade. I like that. that. You can do something there with that. Or you can have a situation where maybe Jade comes out there and helps Bianca. But not interfere, but like her music hits on SmackDown. Because Jade obviously has some beef with Nia. And you can build that feud up. Because now Jade comes out there and costs uh, Naya the match without actually physically interfering maybe a distraction Bianca gets to win off of it they are tag team partners after all and now you can build up a feud between Naya and Jade so you could do that too and then have Bianca go, go against Lyra and have Bianca actually win it to add some more to her you know her stats in WWE and then you can go forward with uh, Bianca going against Bailey one more time and the story's there because they would be going at it uh, at SummerSlam. And if you guys remember Bailey returning a few years ago at SummerSlam. But now things have changed. That could be good. I like that. So we'll see how things play out. But once again, I love what, the, what Triple H just did. The King of the Ring tournament, for the most part, has been pretty solid. Uh, they've made the SmackDown and Raw shows... Um, watchable in the sense of you want to see who's going to win they really put emphasis on the tournament and care for the tournament and i definitely like that and appreciate that that's how the king of the ring tournament is supposed to be and i i really do appreciate the fact that they have put effort into this tournament to give you the best possible matches and potential storylines coming out of this so if I'm going to get my preview and predictions uh, at a later date. Most likely, I'm going to try to do it tomorrow before SmackDown. So, we'll see how that plays out. But, yeah, man, this should be something interesting. I'm very look I'm looking forward to it. Shout out to Triple H for really doing something here, which I, I think a lot of us were somewhat anticipating. And now, it makes the King and the Queen of the Ring tur tournament that much more important. Uh, but, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, do you guys like... The fact that, you know, the Queen and King of the Ring uh, tournament winners now get a championship opportunity at SummerSlam. Let me know how y'all feel about that and who do y'all think is going to win now that we know whoever wins this get a championship opportunity. How do you think this is going to play out? I would definitely be interested in see uh, what y'all think about that. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace